Hey, what's going on there? This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith, and today we're going to be rekeying a master lock. Uh, this is going to be the M20 keyway. So if you're looking for Elko blanks, that's what you're going to be looking for. There it goes. Uh, that's what you're going to be looking for, the old M20s. Um, or if you have actual master lock blanks, it'll say that too. Uh, you're going to need the operating key to enter in and turn. Uh, we're going to be servicing this too, so this will be a rekey and a servicing. This thing is, um, you know, it's in pretty sour shape. Uh, so basically we're just going to take that up. This is going to move. It won't come off, but it'll move. Uh, and then you're going to see the ball bearings and the other things down here. Let's see if we can shine that light in there just right. Mm, you can see there's an Allen head down in there. That Allen head is going to release this bottom plate. The bottom plate will drop off releasing the cylinder. So we'll get our, let's see, one, two, three. So this is like a 3 16 I'm just guessing off of what that says. Um, and that'll just go right down in there. And yeah, we're definitely going to clean this thing out. It is pretty... Pretty ugly. There's a bunch of old grease that needs to be washed out because it's full of dirt and grit and grime. Um, so we're going to flush it with some carb clean. And then we're going to go ahead and add some new lithium grease to the bearings and coat the rest of the lock um, in something else. Okay, so there's that. That'll come right off of there. Comes right out of there. screw will come out. That's what you're going to be looking for inside there. <sighs> hmm. So, yeah, it's super ugly and gritty in there. I mean, it's just nasty. Ugh. <coughs> I'm allergic to how dirty these locks are. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to take these and uh, spray them out with some Bright Clean. Um, this one's actually dirty enough. Uh, what I may do is I'll probably spray some PB Blaster. Let's see if I have my PB Blaster. This is nasty stuff if you get it on you. But as far as cleaning locks goes, the best cleaning procedure for locks is going to be to go ahead and soak it in this. This is going to break down the rust, the grime, all the stuff that is in there along with the dirt and just the guck and the buildup. And it's gonna break it down into something that's more soluble. And then when we flush it out with brake clean, it's gonna clean more of the gunk out of the lock. The brake clean will clean this out. And then we can go ahead and apply a dry Teflon lubricant to it so it doesn't attract more dirt. But we are gonna apply a little bit of white lithium grease to the ball bearing areas because that has a lot of interaction with it. Um, and as you can tell, when I hit the key on this, it didn't even spring open. So it's in pretty sad condition. So I'm assuming the cylinder and everything else is just as bad. Don't get this stuff on you. It stinks. It'll stain your clothes. It'll ruin your day if you get um, this on anything that you don't want it to get on to. So uh, I'm going to do that and we'll be... Alrighty, now that we got our key here, go ahead and take the old key, insert the old key, Ugh. See if any of the new stuff, any of the. Yeah, we probably just better dump the whole thing. I was gonna say, sometimes you can see if the old pins will work with your new pinning, but these really don't matter, so we're just gonna dump them. We're gonna pull that old key out, pop our new key in. Oh, and this usually does this to me. <clears throat> Yep, so basically what happens is the pins stick in the bottom of the keyway now that it is on the top. So you can see that. Probably not. Anyways, trust me, that's what's happening. We got top pins sticking into the bottom of the keyway. Therefore, you need a pick that's broke off specifically for this because I've done it a bunch and click. So basically you just tuck all those pins up 
and then the cylinder will turn. Once the cylinder has turned, you can insert your key back in to the code that you have cut. Now this pin was loaded with five pins, so we take note of that, and I'm only going to load it with five pins. I'm gonna load one pin in, in the bottom here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it, and push down and make sure that it's actually correct. And there you have it, it's just as simple as that, people. One, two, three, and we're all back together. Moment of truth, flip it all the way up. Yep, that's it. Come on. Get out of there. Uh, we haven't put any lubrication back in this. <clears throat> ETFE spray, Teflon, whatever you want to call it, dry lubricant. Ah, and that's gonna work much better. There you go. This lock's also stamped in the end here, so with this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my rat tail half round file to file off these hooks from this brand new key that's going to make it operate a little bit better because this lock is very old very worn out and where they crimp the back end of this is starting to give it some slop but we want this key to operate nice for the customer when we're done so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to squirt the inside of this down go ahead and put the cylinder back in. Now if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see through there, see that hole? <clears throat> on one side is the hole where the uh, screw goes and the screw runs parallel to the cylinder. So it needs to sit at an angle, just like so. And then this screw comes down on this side and runs beside it. bottom anti-drill plate goes back on, our nut goes back on, and then this goes back on if we're in the actual, you got to kind of move the ball bearing out of the way <clears throat> to get your Allen wrench to go in. Mm. It's difficult to see. our longer set. This keeps acting up and misbehaving. Okay, yeah, don't use these. They're not going to work very well. Three sixteenths, five sixteenths. Maybe a seven sixty fourths. Nope. Oh, what the heck? 
Okay, yep, that is it. So it's 764, I lied to you. <clears throat> but that is what it is now. You wanna make sure that's good and tight, because if it comes off, the whole lock's gonna come apart. Then, you make sure that everything's going good. Everything's very nice and smooth. Before you lock it up, because if you lock it up and you don't have everything operating smooth and your key doesn't work, you're screwed. You're gonna have to pick this thing again. So there you have it. That's how to rekey, service, and maintain your padlock. I'm actually gonna take a little dab of white lithium grease. Here, put this on the ball bearings because that is gonna help those things out. Just put it down. Yep, so just like that, you can even squirt a little bit over here on the inside of that one right up in here. So that gets onto that ball bearing and that will help service the life of this. For more information, check out the website below. Wayne's Lock Shop, we strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from rekeying high security locks to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between safe openings car openings installation tool reviews and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths if you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business then wayne's lock shop is the place for you please sign up today at wayneslockshop.com